I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. This one is from quadratic equations. The question here is determine the values of k such that x square plus k plus 3x plus 1 equals to 0 has one real root. Now if quadratic equation has one real root it means what? It means that the discriminant which is b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0. That is what it means, right? So what are these ABCs? So in general, we say let the quadratic equation be, um, let's write down as ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So if I write this quadratic equation, ABC, a is coefficient of x square, b is coefficient of x, c is the constant. Then b square minus 4 is e should be 0. Only then there will be one real root, correct? So what we are given here is the equation x square plus k plus 3 x plus 1 equals to 0. And if this has to have one real root, if this has to have one real root, it means what? It means that b square minus 4ac should be 0, right? That's what it means. Now, in the given equation, what is a, what is b, and what is c? So, if you compare, a is coefficient of x square, which is 1, b is k plus 3, right? b is k plus 3, and c is equals to 1, correct? So, now we will just calculate the value of k from this condition, okay? So when you say b square minus 4 is c, b is k plus 3, that means k plus 3 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is also 1 equals to 0. So that equation can be solved to find the value of k. I hope the point is absolutely clear, right? Now you can actually solve this equation and find the answer. So here is the solution. We can take this term to the right side. So we have k plus 3 whole square equals to, this is 4, right? 4. And then we can square root. So we can have k plus 3 equals to square root of 4. Whenever you do square root, write plus and minus, right? So we have k plus 3 equals to plus minus 2 square root of 4. And k is equals to minus 3 plus minus 2. So we get two values. And these values are minus 3 plus 2 or minus 3 minus 2. So if you go with this value, you get minus 1 as your answer. Otherwise, you get minus 5 as your answer. So we have two answers. So k is equals to, so our answer is k is equals to minus 1, right, or minus 5. So that is how you can solve this question. I hope you like the idea of taking 4 to the right side, square root, and then finding k. That is probably a very efficient way of doing this. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.